Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. Welcome to Alliance Heroes of the Spire. We're gonna be trying this game out and seeing how it is. It's basically pretty similar to some of the wars from what I've seen from the screenshots, and it's been a while since I've say, played one of those type of clones. So, interested to see how their characters look and how the art cell is. Oh, well then. I think it already looks pretty interesting. Not a huge fan of his face though. His facial structures. Oh what, you get the first turn? What the hell man? But they pretty much tell you to turn order by this, which is actually pretty nice. Cause you never know if like you have two units that are like neck and neck with their charge. Uh, so what's this? Attack all. And lowers their gauge. Attacks all to remove a buff. Okay. Go all allies. So far, I like the design of these characters. Wait a minute. Is this the game where we actually succeeded without getting one-shotted? <laughs> yeah, that, that's interesting. Okay, so we got a base, we're going straight into summons. Just because they probably took all of our strong allies, like always. We had an epic one. Oh, so we're just going to get three star. No. You and your freaking rig summons. Orc, huh? Gotta say the music's pretty peaceful. Hero rescue. Okay, so you find him at I'm guessing level three or area three. Full team, let's go. I like their splash art a little bit. Some of their faces just look weird, that's all. Not so sure about like the actual models yet. I have to see more of them. There's a chance to fill his gauge. If you kill your target, this put up. If you kill your target, give this buff to the rest of the team. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, we didn't get it. So this is the healing character. Noted. Are you taught? A random enemy. Alright, go for it. Oh, you chose to time to him. Oh, okay. It's very odd of you. <laughs> it's all enemies. Let's try to fill our gauge. Heal the end, give a shield. Oh, well, that shield did not help you at all. <laughs> I don't believe it's one of those games where you have to, like, get full stars, keep all your units alive, from what I've seen. 
but then again I just saw like stars up here so I, I guess it is I have no idea and good stars at the end so All right, how do you evolve? Wait. Oh, I'm fusing one of, or evolving. Yeah, I definitely need to see the models, if anything. The models look as pretty decent as the art style, then I can probably get behind it a little bit. A little bit. Should be able to one-shot them, right? Now that we're all level. Nope. <laughs> I mean, I tried. What does give us that close one shot a little bit? Oh, got an epic core. Get another three star. Ah, it's just gonna give me a raid summon. Ah, I was all excited and everything too. So this is where we find him. Better than having Orkin as him just slowing us down. We don't need him anymore. But it seems like it makes you feel like it's one of those older like some of the war type of games. Some of the war clones. Alright, so what do you do? You hit an enemy four times. Give an ally revenge. So I'm basing, yeah, the counterattack. What's that? Basically, thinking that's a counterattack. Okay, so basically, life steal. At the beginning of each stage, give revenge to the defensive character. Okay. Also, let's stealth yourself for two turns. Okay, that's actually not half bad, to be honest. Requires equipped artifact. Um, artifact? There we go. A gauntlet. So basically ruins. Seems like a summoner war type of thing. <laughs> Let me grab this. Okay, so you can get those characters that you've seen inside of the um, start of the game. By just playing through the game, basically. Noted, noted. No more healers. Who needs a healer, you know? Ah, oh, the Drake looks pretty interesting. Oh wait, is he a defense character? 
Uh, I don't think he is. Because he would have got the revenge, right? Oh, whenever an enemy dies, give... Oh, okay, that's actually not how bad. Okay, now I gave it to him, I believe. Yeah, it should be pretty useful. You should me like kill somebody, you get like a defense. What? Well, what the fuck? I mean, you get like a speed increase and attack increase at the same time. So up here about that hero event. Ew, we got fragments. Yeah, no, I'm good. Let me guess nothing in our inbox. Yep. We don't get any good goodies for our start off rewards. Without that smoke, I can't believe your PC even stands up against that. <laughs> So we have a chance of getting three stars out of this, so that's... Oh, we could just wrap it some and just look at it afterwards. Odd. Let's see what we got. No three stars. At all. Do they have a codex? This is also what I want to see. Oh god, they have VIP though. Which I'm never a huge fan of. Unless you can actually earn the VIP yourselves. Through like dailies. Whoops. Hero collection. There we go. Okay, I don't know what the hell that was for. Oh, crap. They have a lot of characters. That is also through, like, the variations of elements, too. Their shadow. Wait, how does their element will work? I guess these are. I guess these have their own will. Like these are the natural ones that have their will, and these guys are the special ones with their own. Weird that you would have that, but let's take a look at a few. So, mythic, huh? Hmm. The designs are okay. Those seem like that hugely speaks to me. I think it'd be better if we just look at it through like fire. That is the skinniest horse I've ever seen in my life. Oh, uh, it's not the um, dude from Dynasty Warriors. Can't remember his name. Lot. Hmm. It. Hmm. Never mind. I'm not even gonna try. So I know I'm gonna screw it up. Now that's something you don't see very often, is the Sphinx. And it being done pretty well. Ah! 
Okay, I like his design too. Yeah, some of the characters' designs are good. So, some of them are a bit weird. But hey, if you need them to pass a stage with some good skills, hey, go for it. Then make your team look pretty, you know? That's the that's the end game part where you make your team look pretty. I like this guy. <laughs> the boxing hands. Gonna actually give you the hands. Uh you're not a gunslinger, dude. You're just a heavy. If I don't see you carrying two pistols, you're not a gunslinger. Fucking ferret. <laughs> uh, the designs, I swear. I like her a little bit. Definitely unique. If anything, it just reminds me heavily of, um, what was it? Gigantic. Like, characters that could have been in Gigantic. Yeah, that could have been. Rip Gigantic, bro. Such a good game. It tells you how they uh, attack too. Like they're focused, like a single target. Enchanter, so basically a buffer. Healer, so. Well, that, that just pretty much tells you. <laughs> Defense, but. But pretty much a heavy hitter. And Sweeper, pretty much the nuker. Yeah, we're going to speed through a little bit of it. Just to show you guys more. It's funny that they give you things like Legendary Epic for like 3 stars and 4 stars. Make you feel like you got something special, you know. Unless you actually know the trees and everything. Okay, stop. Stop. That just ruined the Egyptian character for me. To Rudolph? But yeah. Those, that's a few of their designs, if anything. Oh, we got a new character. Uh, is this just for sitting here logged in? That's interesting. The longer you play, the more rewards you get. Who knew? That's the revenge guy. This is the one that gave us that. He's no longer useful since if somebody dies, we get his buff. like the pirate dude for sure I like you guys wouldn't we're gonna hear me say that you know Okay, fills up all allies gauge. Armor break. Ignores ten percent of the Oh. So he's a debuffer and somewhat of a buffer. Ignores armor and power down.
Oh, so now are we, are we in stages? Okay, yeah, we're at the point where we're starting to do stages. And our buffs carry on to the other battle also. Okay, so it's only for one turn now. Death shield. So they have prevent death abilities. Ah, that's gonna be annoying. Hello? Oh, hit enemies. In. I didn't know it was a hit enemy ability. And you're dead. That could be really annoying on a boss, though. What a hound, though. Alright, so this is where dailies come in. Seems like you can get a free legendary core that gives you either a legendary or a mythic. Noted. Like, it doesn't seem like the most well polished game, but I think it has something going for it a little bit. I mean, if I was to continue to play, which I, I, I might, just a tad, I would definitely have to start running, like, dungeons soon. So the team I have right now, will use last match, will probably be the team I want to up, like, as quick as possible. Then start doing, um, I'm guessing, of all dungeons over here. There's also an equipment dungeon. Basis for bosses, what I'm guessing. Use taunt and guard to save them. Okay. So hold up. What is what does the rating system look like in this game? That's the real question I should be asking. must have keep food oh okay that's that's um that's a way to actually do that that's gonna be a rarity actually that's a rarity for sure no I've never seen a dev or a game do anything like this which I kind of really like But the only sad part is, is builds, like runes and stuff. That's also something they need to put in, like have an extra tab here and have all the runes laid out and they can vote for which two rune sets they would probably want to build. Yeah, they can also do that just to add on to it. Bro, bro, pretty neat. So what is this key I was looking at? Okay, yeah, that's pretty simple. Never mind. And these are fragments? How much did you do you need for like fragments is a real question. I guess you won't be able to see. Never mind. You gotta get it first. Alright, let's do one more match and we're gonna call it there. And I'll let you guys decide if, if you guys want to play the game, try it out, or anything like that. Oh, we're actually almost done with this.
Maybe I'll try to finish up this stage. Oh, you can save your team too. From what I see, you're, de you're definitely gonna have to dazzle in some mono teams, like for uh, elements. Like full water, full light teams for stages. Yeah, you don't get a turn. What could I hell? <laughs> oh wow, why are they so gigantic? Uh... That wish doctor looks like he's gonna be a huge issue. So something I want to see, does killing the boss kill everything? No it does not. So aiming for the boss only will not be the right tactic here. Too late man, your teammates are already dead. Okay, so the, the, either way it goes, the further you go in, the more... Oh, okay. Uh-huh. That's a screen that's bright as hell and I can't see anything. Cool. Nice screen. Can we get rid of it? Oh my god. It's literally stuck on a screen. <laughs> I tapped on it, game. Wow, okay. Clearly it has a bug with the game. Alright, I'm back. There we go. Jeez. Now they're teaching me about this. Yeah, not not right now. Free starter bump? Hmm. Suspicious. Okay, and this is making like, the game lag. I'm gonna need it to stop doing that. Thank you. Can't see our future rewards off that, so. What we get? What we get? Legendary? Nope. Another epic. We don't know what you do, buddy. Let, let's see what you do. Chance to shield the ally with the lowest HP for two turns. Oh, nice. All allies gain heal buff and heal over time. Nice, nice, nice. Good healer. I was about to say, okay, so they have every last buff alright so maybe this game has a lot more to it than I thought for like explaining things which is actually extremely good you have guarding so you can protect your units that, that's actually fantastic Let me guess, increase max. Yeah, I, I figured. I figured it was increasing max HP. Chance to cleanse yourself of debuff, then heal yourself for a tick. Jeez. Also gives you debuff immunity? I don't know. I think I like this guy so far. You guys should be useful. 
Yeah, could probably be one of my downtime characters for sure. Oh, downtown. <laughs> downtime games. This is what I meant. <laughs> he, he could be replaced. I like this team. We got ourselves a debuffer, we got ourselves an attacker. We got ourselves a very decent buffer for just killing an enemy. But in situations like this, he probably won't be like too useful. Let's break his armor. Kill all. Gonna mark him. There's a shield. I wonder. Hold up. Is that affected by max HP? I need to go back and look at that. Seems like we might be all right. There we go. Oh, the stage gives us pretty decent reward. So now you go search for him in the volcano. Alright, so we're going to end off there. Let's, let's do two summons. Ah, oh, so we got the other variation of him. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed so far the game is actually pretty decent and well made to be honest like definitely not too bad oh this one cleans all buffs or well, all debuffs for an ally and heals them this one also does give the forgery buff too eh i think he's probably food if anything right oh no Apparently everybody says he's a must have and this one's food. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Like, hmm. Guess he's food to one of the other ones. That's probably better. But yeah. With that said guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out. Great game. Try it out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose.